Hi, welcome to Flyboy episode nine. Well, I'm at the Dragon Race, I'm super excited. Have a look over here. Just look at all those competitors. Got my t-shirt. And uh, you can see there's about 60 competitors this year. Uh, as you know, last year I competed, but I, I had to quit because basically I uh, couldn't fly due to strong winds and chose not to fly. Um, so, uh, yeah, Greg Ham Ham Hamilton's here. Uh, loads and loads of people, and actually, um, Greg, Greg's, um, he's doing a tandem this year. So there's three tandems, there's three female competitors, and a total of about 60 competitors in total. So I've got the van, as you can see. Uh, the, the van's all kitted out, if you have a look inside. You can see that's where I slept last night. And I've got my good friend, Jan, who's very kindly supported me, supporting me this year. He's currently filming, so he's also doubling up as a cameraman. So I'll see you on the road, and I'll see you at the start. If you go back to the can, as a right, as long as you cross your starting point at some point during the day. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! So we're at the start line with the finish, start, start, start the race. And here we go. There's going to be a lot of people running, but I'm definitely not going to. So we'll see you on the road. We're at the back at the moment of this little group. So, we're on our way and we are going up that mountain over there. So we've got a long way to go. It's a beautiful morning. I'll see you later on. <laughs> so here we are, we're climbing up. This is Ella from, uh, Hi. from Highworth, who's joined us. And uh, so you're going to go on YouTube, I hope that's okay. Absolutely fine, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we're following two other pilots ahead of us who uh, also got the same idea to go up this closer ridge. And there are apparently some people who are walking 10 or 15 miles to a bigger one. Yeah, so Penny Fan. Penny Fan, that's right. And we're going at Fan Frinic. Fr that's brilliant, Fran, Fran Frinic. So I always forget these Welsh names, but... <laughs> <laughs> so we'll see you at the top okay so we're walking up we're still walking up the first hill with someone in the air already so he's not very high at the moment but we're taking our time and not rushing too much because it's still only 10 o'clock and we want to have the cloud base a little bit higher you can just see it's beautiful here Absolutely stunning spot. It does feel a little bit windier than I thought it would be when we're walking up the ridge. We're in the lee side here. So hopefully it won't be too windy later on today. I'll see you at the top. Right, where we're at the top, we've just got set up. You can see the gear there. There's a gaggle I've just left of into the sun, but there's already a gaggle that have uh, already gone over the back. So I can't really film them because they're in the sun. See the takeoff here. The lady I was with, Ella, she's just over there. There's another guy over here setting up. A few others still not taken off. So, a bit nervous. Just want to get in the air now. Oh, you can see. Ooh, see, it's quite windy. This guy's just gone a bit dragged. So, it's not as light as I'd hoped. Oh, this is what happened to me before. Really hard to get the wing to go back round. Get stuck in the tail fly. There he goes. Well, it definitely has picked up. You can see some people really struggling here. So this guy is almost gale hanging. So this is not as nice as the forecast was saying. But well, hopefully it's just thermal cycles. But uh, it is quite windy at the moment. That quite a few have already gone over the back so I think I need to get in the air before it picks up too strong right so we're up bit of a bit of a windy 
Lucky Tyco take off. A bit scary, but I'm in the air. Ella's over there, that nice lady. Would you believe she's the same age as me? Can you believe it? Anyway, I'm going to put the camera away in a minute because I need to get going. Looks like Ella's in thermal. Well, unfortunately, I didn't get very far. This take takeoff was over there. And I, um, I made a mistake with my instrument. The, uh, the phone, I thought it was telling me to go the wrong way. I had it on the wrong page. I had it on the thermal assistant, would you believe? So I flew out of a really good thermal and ended up coming down here because for some reason there's no wind here, but there's loads of wind on takeoff, the first takeoff. So I've got to hike up a bit up that, up that hill now. Right, so we're on our way again. Unfortunately, my instrument has failed me and uh, um, it's telling me to go back to the original takeoff turn point one. So I don't know what I've done wrong, but I'm, I'm not going to bother with a race now. I'm just doing a cross country because I'm going to try and fly back to Crickhow. Uh, so I'm in a blue hole now. There's Talbont, that's Talbont. And uh, I can see another pilot. But I'm in a blue hole. There's the reservoir. Woo! Three, three point six down. Ah! Oh no! So yeah, it's a shame because I don't know. I maybe didn't go to turn point one or something. But anyway, I'm going to go and find a thermal. Sorry, folks. I don't know where Jan is. What's up? Going to walk over to there to Jan. You can see my kit. It's taken ages to pack it up because it's such a small bag compared to what I'm used to. But it's a cracking day. I mean, just look at the clouds. But it's, I mean, there was lift everywhere, to be honest. But. It was a very, very turbulent lift and very bumpy and rock and roll. Okay, so I'm walking up Magic Mountain now and the wind is coming from there. So I'm hoping it will be storable. You can see some sheep here. That's a nice walk that goes all the way up. What I found, these look like wild ponies. Look around here. There's a baby. So I need to walk up here. And I'm, there's a western bowl I'm hoping that's going to work so I can at least fly down, get some height and go around to, down to Crickhow to the campsite. So I'm up and the wind is actually slightly off to here so hopefully that won't be too turbulent. It is, in theory it's coming from the north, well, west, northwest. But I think the sun has drawn the, <coughs> the wind up. I'm in the harness. It took me a bit of messing about because uh, I had to put my sticks away and things. So let's see if we can get away. Let's go. Not too bad. Not okay. Woohoo! It's good. Oh bugger, I forgot to zip up my harness. Oh, sugar. Totally forgot to see my harness up properly, so that was a mistake. I kind of have to leave that now. Last it. It's because I uh, had a, a slight twist. I'd forgotten a leg strap.
don't even know where that goes. Mistake there, what a silly mistake, the old harness. Can you see me? I'm just coming down towards Crickhow. I can't see you, but can you see the other two uh, paragliders? They're two just above the camp now. They're just circling around here. No, I can't see them, but I'm, I'm up quite high. Okay. Um, yeah, I can't see you at the moment. Great views from up here, Jan. That's good. Is it not as rough as early? No, definitely not. It's much nicer now. Good. Enjoy. 1.6 up. One up. Still going up. And I'm just staying over the campsite. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. After a bit of a bad day, really. Woohoo! I don't know, six o'clock or something. There's the campsite. Right underneath me. Basically today was a bit of a mistake because I forgot to turn on XC track and I didn't have anything to tell me where to go. It was just telling me to go back to the car park, the start line. And I didn't understand what was going on, you see. So it's my lack of experience. I'm an absolute rookie for this sort of thing. But it's great fun. It was just a bit turbulent today and I wasn't feeling too comfortable earlier.
1.2 up. Wow, absolutely awesome. What a place, what a place. So that's downwind. So this is into me. Fast landing. And there's the campsite. Awesome.